baby bus. Aesop's Fables: The Crow and the Doves. There was once a crow in the forest. He slept in his nest all day long, every single day. Caw, caw, caw! It's so hard to find food. I'd rather sleep. Caw! But on this particular day, the crow was so hungry that he grudgingly flew out to find food. Caw, caw, caw! The sun is so bright. My feathers are practically on fire. Caw, caw, caw! I'm so tired. Before the crow had flown very far, he grew tired, so he stopped in the shade of a tree to cool off. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo! Huh? What's that sound? The crow turned his head here and there, looking around him. Wow! What a beautiful castle! Curious, the crow flew over to inspect what turned out to be a large white cage. With a flock of doves inside, the doves were leisurely drinking fresh water and eating corn. Caw caw! <gasps> Look how happy they are, eating and drinking as much as they please. All they have to do every day is lie in bed and sleep. The crow was extremely envious and wished he could rush into the cage and eat to his heart's content. But as he looked at the dove's perfectly groomed feathers, then at his own shiny, glossy feathers, he thought, "Caw, caw, caw! Those doves would never let me in. I need to come up with a plan." Caw, caw, caw! I got it. The crow found a hairdresser in the forest and said to the hairdresser, "Caw! I want to make my feathers look like a dove's." All neat and tidy, and not as oily as mine. And I want to dye them the same color as a dove's too. No problem. When it comes to dyeing feathers, I'm a pro. The hairdresser skillfully dyed the crow's feathers. The crow looked at himself in the mirror and nodded, satisfied. He looked almost the same as the dove's. He flew back to the dove's castle and called, "Caw, caw!" Oh no! The doves coo, but I caw. I'll be discovered as soon as I open my mouth. I have to avoid talking. The crow shut its mouth tightly and rushed toward the cage. Bang! Perhaps he rushed too quickly, maybe because he was so hungry. But he fainted the moment he slammed into the cage and was knocked flat on his back. Coo coo coo! What's wrong with you? When the lively, cute little dove saw the crow, she rushed to call her sister. Hey, sis, come and see this. Is this our friend? Her big sister came over to take a look. Cool, cool. I've never seen him before. Maybe he's a distant relative. The kind doves quickly offered the crow some water and corn. The crow woke up after he ate and drank. Hello, I'm Miss Dove. Where are you from? The crow just kept his mouth shut, shaking his head. Are you lost? The younger sister was very concerned, but the crow still kept his mouth shut, shaking his head more vigorously now. He's so pitiful. Can we let him stay? Yes, sure. And so the crow managed to live with the doves in the cage, drinking fresh water, eating corn, and sleeping all day. But he had to be very careful. He never spoke, for fear that the doves would see through his disguise. The younger sister thought this was strange. Cuckoo! Hey, sis, why doesn't the new dove ever talk to us? Maybe he's a little shy. Why don't we try to get to know him better? The sisters went to the crow. The younger sister tapped him on the shoulder. The crow was so startled that his feathers stood up. The dove quickly said, "Don't be startled. We just want to be your friends." Yes, let's sing together. We doves are the best singers. Let's have a contest and see who can sing the best. When the younger sister saw that the crow still kept his mouth shut, she thought he was just shy. She said, "How about I go first?" Cuckoo, cuckoo! White feathers, little red lips. Let's laugh and play and have lots of fun. Cool, 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 cool. Pretty little 
dove has a good memory and is so clever. Never late delivering the mail. Now, Now it's, it's your, your turn. turn. The two sisters urged the crow to sing. The crow panicked, thinking he should try to make some cooing sounds. He opened his mouth wide, but all that came out was caw caw caw, coo coo coo. You're not a dove. Doves don't coo like that. The younger sister cooed very loudly, and all the other doves heard. It's just a cawing old crow. Let's get him out of here. I- I'm not caw. The crow tried to weasel his way out, but he was thrown out by the angry doves, and he had to go back to his own companions. Caw caw caw! I'm back. The crow flew listlessly back to his nest and was about to lie down. Caw! Who are you? The crows looked at this fellow with his dyed feathers. Then they looked at one another. No one recognized him. I'm Crow, your brother. Caw, caw, caw! Listen, I caw just like you. Don't be ridiculous. Look at our oily feathers and look at your tidy groomed feathers. We look nothing alike. Don't think you can pretend to be one of us just because you can imitate our call. Go away. The crows stood in line and blocked the entrance, not letting him in. The crow was left alone outside to wander in the forest. Caw, caw, caw! I shouldn't have dyed my feathers and tried to change who I am just to cheat those doves out of some food and drink. The crow really regretted his actions, and he was left with nowhere to live.